Hey everyone, um, so more recently, a lot of people have been asking me about index universal life policies. So over the next like four, five, six minutes, I'm just gonna go over the major differences between an index universal life policy and a traditional 401k policy. Um, if you have any questions at all after watching this video, which you probably will, um, just please feel free to reach out to me directly. All right, let's get into it. So we're going to talk about the major pros and cons between an index universal life policy and a 401k. Um, so an index universal life policy is a life insurance product. Um, so essentially every month when you're paying your premium, you're funding your cash value and you're also paying for your death benefit. So you might be like, Christina, what does that mean exactly? How does this prepare me for retirement? So for example, if you're 35 years old, um, and you want to retire when you're 60, what we're going to do is we're going to structure your policy. So you're paying a monthly premium until you turn 60. And then at 60 years old, that cash value that's accumulated essentially is going to start paying you each month. And now when it's paying you each month, when you're getting that money and you're taking it from that cash value, it's not taxable income. Um, we look over here at a 401k and we obviously know a 401k and the money from it is taxable. Um, I'm not going to go too far into that. I think that probably makes sense to everyone. Um, another amazing benefit about an index universal life policy or an IUL is that there is a floor and a ceiling on an IUL. Okay. So essentially if the market is plummeting, you're not going to take part in that. Okay. You're not going to experience market loss. Um, and another great benefit about an IUL is at the end of each year, it locks in your gains. So for example, say you've had your IUL for 10 years, each of those years, you've locked in your gains at the end of each year. And then year 11, um, the market completely plummets. You're not going to lose those gains that you've had in the previous 10 years. You may not have major gains in year 11, but you're not going to lose out on the previous year gains that you did take part in. Whereas over here, um, because of 401k, it is based off the market. You can't absolutely experience loss. Okay. Your gains are never locked in with a traditional 401k product. Um, another great benefit about an IUL is that because it is a life insurance policy, it has a death benefit. Um, I'm not going to stay there too long. I'm pretty sure that probably makes sense to everybody. Essentially, not only are you building your cash value as one part of the policy every time you make a monthly premium, but in the event that you were to pass away, um, your beneficiary would also receive your death benefit. And now that death benefit is going to essentially vary um, based on the way that we structure your policy. Um, over here, we look at a 401k. Now, a 401k is not a life insurance policy um, or not a life insurance product. So there is no life insurance involved. Um, there is no additional death benefit on top of the money that is in that 401k. Um, another amazing benefit to an IUL product is that it has living benefits built into it. So if you were to become um, critically, chronically, or terminally ill, essentially you'd be able to take a lump sum of money out of that IUL, either from your cash value or from your death benefit to sustain your lifestyle. So essentially it can work as income replacement in the event that you get sick. Now a 401k, um, it doesn't have living benefits built into it. Essentially there's not in, no income replacement built into it in the event that you were to get sick because again, um, it's not a life insurance product. Um, so you might be sitting here like, wow, an IUL sounds amazing. Like what are one of the cons to an IUL? So an IUL, um, you do essentially have to qualify for it health wise, like 95% of the time we can get it so that you don't have to actually do a medical exam. There's just a series of health questions that you have to go through. Um, but there are qualifications that you have to meet health wise, essentially to put an index universal life policy on yourself. Um, we look over here at a 401k. Now, because there's no death benefit or living benefits involved with the 401k, it is not a life insurance product. There are no health questions asked to qualify for the traditional 401k. Um, I hope that all made sense. Any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me directly.